Question to you guys. Oh, I haven't said that for a while. Question, question to you guys. <laughs> Take that off the bingo yeah. card. <laughs> How long has it been since I said that? All right. How much do you think first impressions actually matter? Um, Depends on the scenario, honestly. Yeah. Depends I, on like situation we're in. Right. I mean, it's definitely important. I mean, there's a, there's a whole reason why, you know, everyone and their mother always says like, oh, you know, make sure your first impression is good because yeah. that could last your entire friendship if you, you know, if they continue to pursue it yeah. and everything like that. But also, you know, I've had moments where I've met someone, the first impression wasn't, you know, the most like 10 out of 10 favorable yeah, thing ever, but, right. huh? Yeah, you, like, you, you, like, right. like, like this guy right here. <laughs> but, you know, eventually over time, you know, you give it the benefit of the doubt and, yeah. you know, you end up forming a very great friendship, right? So, and I've had complete opposite instances of like mm. the, the first impression was like a 10 out of 10, like, oh yeah, I'm going to be friends with this person it's so hard. Yeah. And then a couple of times after you kind of, start to show their, their, their real side, I yeah. guess, because they didn't show it on their first impression. And then you're just like, oh yeah, you weren't, you're, you're not really as cool as the first time I met you. Yeah. Okay. You know. Counter question then okay. to, to that question. Cause I feel like this is, uh, this is like the, the, the whole first impression thing is, it's kind of like hinged on another way that I, at least I view conversation. Right. Is it like, I feel like a friendship isn't like formed or at least isn't like, uh, like real, at least, let's say. I mean, you're like your acquaintances in my mind. Mm. Until there's like some in, like shared information there, like yeah. you both share things, yeah. and that it's like an equal sharing of uh, maybe personal information, or, or not, you'd have to be like, here's my bank account details, or here's a, here's a, here's a deep dark secret. Yeah. But it's like sharing of, of of like maybe emotions that could be vulnerable, or maybe uh, just just kind of saying, hey, I trust you to this other person. And then they say it back. And it's like, yeah. I could hang out with someone for 10 times. And if I feel like I just still don't know them or I don't know anything about them, it's like, yeah. it doesn't mean shit. But yeah. someone, someone could overshare on the first time. And I'd be like, mm, that's too much. Cause now I feel like yeah. you're too willing to share yeah. this. And so it's kind of like, it's kind of like, how do you share information? And I have forgotten what my question was gonna be. It was more gonna be like, okay, how do you, <laughs> how do you then judge what, what that first impression means, I guess. It's yeah, okay, okay. Uh, I've, I've, I've actually, I've actually, uh, I've actually got. Uh, do, you, do you understand what I'm trying I've, to say? I've, I've actually got a. Yeah, I, 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 I okay. kind of do understand mm. what you're trying to say. Yeah, yeah. Um, because I've had this exact same. It's like a fun. dance of yeah. like, if the person's too closed off, yeah. you're like, well, we're not friends. Yeah. But I've, if they're too open, you're like, this is too much. Yeah. yeah. And it's just like, how do you make the perfect first impression? You just read the room. Kind kinda, of like yeah, balance, right? And okay, so I've thought about this a lot, and my approach has changed, I guess, as I've gotten older. Mm. So when I was younger, I'd say like when, you know, when I was in like my early twenties, I, I I wouldn't even say I'd met my first real friends until I was about the age of 24, 24, mm. 25 mm. actually. So I would say actually pretty late, I actually found what my meaning of like, oh, I, I understand what people means when they say a true friend, mm. right? Mm. So before I would wait, I would be way more conscious about <laughs> trying to set the perfect good, like first impression, like mm. in my mind, mm. uh, like as you said, maybe trying to think. That I, I, not, yeah, not, yeah. I wouldn't worry about how it's coming off. I was yeah. like, I was like, I'm just gonna be me, and I'm sure that I know I'm not like a dick when I meet yeah. people. So I'm like, I'll, I'll be okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, I'll just worry about just having a good time. Yeah, and I think back then it was because I was just because I didn't really have many friends. I would call you know true friends. I mm. would just try to be friends everywhere. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. You know, you you try. I think, uh, yeah, I was exactly the same. I think I think that's very common when you're like in yeah. your teens. You everyone for the most part, unless you're like a, a true dickhead, yeah. like. I think everyone just wants to be a people pleaser. Everyone w wants everyone to like me. Yeah, right? exactly. So how do I do that? I give off a first impression that I kind of gauge, maybe this is the kind of person that this person wants to see in me. Exactly. Right. But yeah, yeah uh, go on. Yeah, I mean, I didn't think too much about whether I wa actually wanted to be their friend. I just mm. wanted more friends, you know? Yeah. So I wanted to set a- You just wanted people to like you. Yeah, exactly. You yeah. just want people to like you. No, and, for sure. and you know, that's still, that's that, that side of me has still like never gotten away. It's never nice to think that fuck that person definitely hates me now or something like that. It's, <laughs> it's, it's never a nice feeling, mm. but um, you know, as I've gotten older, as I've, you know, have more friends that I feel comfortable with and everything. I just find out that, you know, I think this must be an age thing where you just find, you just have less patience uh, with yeah. people, you yeah. know, and you have uh, less care about trying to be friends with everyone. So, now that I'm at this stage, I think first impressions 
actually mean a lot, right? Because mm. sometimes you do you kind of like you, you do you kind of tell off like not even like even if you don't talk to someone, do you sometimes like see someone in like a new group, a table, and you're like, I think I would vibe with you, and I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, do, do, do you do you have do you ever have that? No, no, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And and normally like my kind of like your my like sixth sense that I've guessed like you've you've you know, honed over time, I've mm. kind of like been able to pick up on like subtle subconscious cues where I'm like, I think I would vibe with this person based on the way they said this one sentence or the way they talked. Mm. And I don't know why, but I just have, I just have that feeling. And mm. most of the time it ends up being true, mm. right? Mm. Uh, and it's not really about, you know, sending, a, cause it's not really about have they said a good first impression. It's more about just, you kind of get like the same, you kind of get the energy of someone uh, now yeah. that we've hang out with like enough people IRL. Yeah, stuff. you're probably, I think it's, I think it's the, due to the fact that like, you know, you're able to kind of, you've, because you've met so many different people with yeah. so many different personality traits and you've eventually seen how those <coughs> personality traits end up when they, you know, show their true selves, I guess, when you yeah. become friends with them, right? I think just from that, you're, uh, you have a better understanding as you get older of like, you know, especially when it comes to first impressions, at least with me, I can kind of tell if someone's giving off a first impression because they're either actually like that in real life yeah. or they're just trying to show the best parts of themselves. I, you know? I th yeah, I think- Like there's, there's some in first impressions where I'm just like, okay, I know you're like trying to be friendly with me, but I can just, I have a vibe you are not this kind of person. Yeah. Like in actuality. Right. And I don't know why. And most of the time I've got that right, where I'm just like, oh yeah, you you were kind of like just trying to show off your first impression that I would like because you really wanted to be friends with me. And I appreciate that. Yeah. But at the end of the day, I'm going to be friends with people who are honest with me when it comes to their personality. How you know? do you know if you're right? How do you know if how do you know if you're right? You said you said like most of the time mm. you're right when you're like I, I got a bad impression of them. How would you know you're right if you did not trust or befriend um, someone? I don't, again, I've I've, I've just, I think for me personally, I've just been in so many situations mm. where I've given them be the benefit of the doubt, and then at the end of the day, they've betrayed me in some way, right? Mm. And you know, I've had a lot of people backstab me in, in my life, yeah. you mm -hmm. know, because I was just trying to be friends with everyone. I mm. gave everyone the benefit of the doubt. Yeah. Yeah. But now that I'm approaching 30, I've just gone to the point where I'm like, I don't have fucking patience mm. for this. Like, yeah. if you don't, if I don't get the vibe from you that I'm mm. gonna be good friends with you, you know, yeah. whether that be the first time meeting or the 10th time meeting or the hundredth time meeting, then I'm not even gonna bother pursuing this friendship, mm. yeah. you know? And yeah. at the end of the day, like, I think that's because I've seen enough people now and I've seen enough personality differences where I have a much better understanding now in my life compared to when I was in like high school of like, okay, are you being legit right now? Are you actually showing the side of me that is you or are you showing the side of me that I want you to see? You yeah. Know? If and that makes sense. Yeah, because uh, mm. the, 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 the way I approach it is, you know, I only have, I guess, a certain amount of social energy. <laughs> so <laughs> if, if I get like the kind of like vibe that I think like, you know, nowadays, if I'm like, I think it's gonna take a lot of social energy to hang out with this one person. And then I hang out with them like two or three times. And I'm like, that was kind of exhausting. Mm. Not for, mm. not from, not because of anything they did wrong, mm. just because I just think our energies are like a little bit different. And mm. sometimes when I'm like- There's Some of you just don't gel with. Yeah, sometimes you just don't yeah, gel with someone. And I that used to bother me a lot because I'm like, I wanna gel with everyone. And now I'm just like, I gel with the people I gel with because I can't help the person I am, you yeah. know? And uh, like, I'm not gonna change my personality for every other different type of personality trait just cause I wanna be friends with them. Yeah. Right? It's like, I wanna just be me. And if you don't fuck with me and my personality, then yeah. I'm not gonna bother trying to show the best side of me cause that's yeah. just who I am. And if you don't wanna be friends with me that way, hey, you know what? There's plenty of fish in the sea. Yeah, you know, yeah. There's, there's plenty of other people you can gel with. And it just so happens that that person is not me. And that's yeah. fine, you know? Yeah. Where do you think where do you think people can find friends in this day and age? Because that's that's because mm. like like you said, we are very we're very lucky, right? Mm. We're very lucky to have a job where we get to meet a lot of people a lot of times. Anime conventions. Anime <laughs> conventions. <laughs> Honestly, for as much as as much as we clown on anime <laughs> conventions, like I think especially for people who like anime and like weeb culture, like yeah. I genuinely think that is the best place to meet people. Cause it's like, shared weebs don't go- huh? Shared interest yeah, spaces. Yeah, shared yeah. interest spaces. You know, whether that be like, you know, any kind of convention or like any kind of 
meetup or, you know, just something IRL, I think is so fucking important for, especially kids in this day and age that, you know, do, I think, I think the blurriness of online friends and real friends, quote unquote, is slowly getting blurred by the day, especially with like the younger generation, because to them, online friends are their real friends yeah. in a lot of instances, right? And, you know, maybe it is, that is true. But I think again, as, as Connor was saying, like, you need, you need that human touch, dude. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta interact with people. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. You, you, I, there's always like, because now that I've had a few experiences now where I've just completely moved to a new city, um, sometimes not knowing anyone, mm. it's it's always like hard whenever you move somewhere new, especially you have like if you have like an established friendship group back home, mm. you move somewhere totally new and you're like, fuck, I've got to start from zero mm. and find a new friendship group here. And that, that takes a lot of time and that takes a lot of like energy. I think the biggest, the uh, Japan was more easy cause like I had like Geeks Plus, I had you guys. Uh, the hardest one for me was actually probably Thailand mm. uh, because when I moved to Thailand, uh, me and Sydney, we, we knew family, but I did not have any like Thai friends yeah. at all. And you know, my, my experience with that was I would just have to go to as many meetups as possible, whether mm. it be like, you know, there's there's a lot of different websites that you can use for different meetups for certain specific, let, let's say, niches. you know, niches mm. or interests. And I think doing that is such like, such a big important factor into trying, like giving yourself the opportunity to make friends. Yeah. Right? Because if you never give, if you never go out of your comfort zone, if you are too lazy to just go out and put yourself out there and meet people that you have, you know, like you don't know if you're going to be friends or not, mm. um, then you're not going to make friends. You know? and, and I think this needs to be said as well of like, I feel there's this, when we say like, you know, you should go to like meetups or like conventions to like make friends, like, I, I think there's this like weird social pressure to be like, oh, okay, I'm going to this convention this weekend. If I don't come back with at least X amount of friends, then like I've wasted my time or whatever, which I think is just like not true. Like I, I think like the whole social pressure of like, I have to make friends at conventions. Yeah, I think the problem is if you're going, if you're going anywhere to make friends, you're already mm. kind of setting yourself up for failure. That's how, think about every friendship you've ever had. It probably hasn't come from you trying to make no. friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you um, know, there is no friendship that has started with, let, can we be friends? Let's be friends. Let's, let's be, be friends. friends. That's that's <laughs> not how friendships start. Friendships start naturally, just from yeah. like, you don't have to ask the question. It's just a mutual agreement of like, yeah, you're cool. You think I'm cool. Hey, I guess we're friends now, you yeah. know? And like, I feel like even just going to any kind of meetup or convention and maybe not necessarily coming back with a, a concrete result of like, I made this many friends, you know, maybe you, you it might've been zero. I think it's still good to go to those kinds of places because you learn so many skills to just like interact with people and to like, you know, get in the position of naturally making friends because, yeah. you know, again, like no friendship starts with the question of, can we be friends? Well, that's it, not it's, how it works. It's, it's less about, making friends more about just finding people that you can hang out with. Yeah. Cause I feel like, yes, another thing about making friends online is that talking to people, talking to people online is easy mode. Mm. That's that's like that's like easy mode, right? That's like socializing with training skills, uh, with training wheels in a sense, right? Um, because, you know, when you're online, you can kind of like, if it's via text for, for one, then you can uh, you can have the time to think about what you're gonna say. It's and the equivalent of passing notes in a classroom. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, like, yeah. That's not mm, communicating. Yeah. And uh, again, if even if you're on call, you can be concentrating on something else. Mm. And it's just you know, it's not always the same kind of like vibe uh, as being there in real life. Mm. So yeah, yeah, I mean, I, I I think I was I was firmly in that camp for a very long time. Um, and then I guess just hanging out with Mouse has changed my opinion a lot on it. Because I'm like, mm -hmm. okay, well, here's somebody who just can't. Yeah, leave mm. their house. Yeah, and it's like, okay, would I ever say that's not a real friendship? No, absolutely not. Yeah, no, so of course. So of it's course. like, yeah. that then it's a situation of like, okay, well, is this just like a? Is I just how I view this entire situation? Is it was I wrong or am I just bending my the way I view it just for one case? I'm like, it's kind of weird because I think that it's it's, I think it's a personal preference of each kind of person. Mm -hmm. uh, like individual you meet, like you, there are probably some people who you're fine talking to online. And there's probably some people who you're like, I don't really gel talking to you on Discord. Like I'd never yeah. want to fucking talk to you guys online on a call. Yeah. Like, no. I'm like, I hang out with you guys in person. I'm like, I don't want to fucking yeah. call you guys. Yeah, you know yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah. So I, I think it's, it's, it's a really odd distinction and I don't know what that means. 
or <laughs> how that interacts with my beliefs, but just yeah. thought it was interesting. But that's so. what I mean. Like, I feel like uh, because now those kinds of friendships uh, are getting more common, especially mm. among younger people, like I feel that line is slowly getting blurred to the point where it's like, maybe online friends are becoming real friends just based on different, you know, like prerogatives, right? Like, you know, yeah. in, in the case of like Mouse, like, you know, she is an online friend, yes, but she mm. is also your actual real friend as yeah. well, right? Yeah. So it's like, I, where's the distinction in that? I, I just think that if if I had only had online friends up until that point, mm. I would lose a lot of, um, I'd lose a lot of the ability to learn like what I think are important social skills, mm. mm -hmm. uh, you know, like reading body language, reading, you know, when I say something, did they react badly to that? Mm. Like yeah. Knowing that like those little cues or making enough eye contact, you know? And these, these are stuff that comes in handy when you're, you know, when we're, if we're ever filming something and there's a crew and it's like, all right, let's, you know, like you you don't want to be a dick. Like, yeah. be nice to everyone. Like, how do you, how do you socialize people in a meaningful way? Um, you know, and if whenever I had jobs or whatever, I had to talk to people all the time. And it was like, if I didn't learn social skills before that, I would have been very, very unprepared for that and possibly have made a bad impression or maybe I would have not been, you know, wouldn't have got another job, et cetera, et cetera. You know, a, yeah. lot, of, a lot of the stuff, especially like voice acting and stuff, like that was all a lot of connections mm -hmm. and making good impressions. Yeah. And it's like, okay, a lot of the stuff you want to do probably requires you to have great social skills. And if you, the only experience you've had is via online, mm. you might not be well prepared to then be in a situation uh, in, in real life and be kind of left to your own social skills because maybe you're just missing out on things you didn't even consider about, right? Yeah. Like, and it's it's tough because it's like, okay, well, how do you <laughs> how do you learn that? Yeah, what? Because there's a lot of situations where, like, you know, I think people have a lot more anxiety nowadays yeah. for, for a number of reasons, and it's like, how do you, you know, if you're an anxious person, how do you how do you learn those things? How do you mm. push yourself to be uh, to go out more and interact more. I don't know. It's yeah, for me, it was just trial by fire. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. it's, I, cause I, I had yeah, massive it, social anxiety and yeah. you know, people might not believe me, but I was like that quiet kid. Yeah. Uh, I, I was, I, I, you know, talking from experience, I was that fucking quiet kid in high school. I had like basically no friends. Um, and I just like going into university, I was like, I'm kind of tired of this life. I'm just, fucking tired. I'm mm. so I'm so socially anxious and I just realized that if I don't commit to this 100%, mm. I'm not going to commit to this at all, which yeah. is why I went to that phase where I'm just going to throw myself in every awkward social situation I can think of mm. and there have been so, there are so many different uh, memories I have wiped from my mind uh, because it, I was just- You have to fuck up. I was an awkward little shit. And sometimes I just stay awake at night and I just think about that one fucking party I went to like, and I said that thing to that guy and I was just like, oh my God, I, what did I say that? <laughs> you know, I, I've thought about this so many times and I've always said to people every time, like people worry way more about how they're coming off than how you're coming off. Mm. Yeah. Unless you say something fucked up, like a lot of people are just more worried about how, like again, how, what they're saying. So like it, a lot of the time when you've said something that maybe you thought was really cringe, they probably didn't even give a fuck. They were like, what? Yeah. Well, yeah. Know. well maybe they thought it was funny. Yeah, or you know? they like pretty much paid no mind to it. They yeah. were like, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, I guess you did You did do that one cringe thing, but I totally just didn't care. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? Like I think yeah. you, it's easy to get in your own head with this kind of stuff, but also it's, it's, it's very, I guess, you can't just be like, just don't be anxious, just do it. You know? but I guess, <laughs> just get over it. I mean, the thing just is- Just don't be you, a botchy, uh, you, just, just go out. You have to you have to go out there and it sucks because you know everything can always be traced back to like when you're a kid and like did, you know, uh, did you get the right experiences or yeah. were you brought up in a family that encouraged that kind of stuff? Or yeah. was your brain chemistry just, were you just born different? Like was yeah. it something that you were just, you were gonna struggle with your entire life? Like mm. these are all, Valid, valid Spawn questions. 